Hello everyone, welcome back to pharmaceutical concepts. Chromatography basic definition we all know that it's a method of separation and identification of the chemical components from the mixture. As far as affinity chromatography is concerned, here the sample is the biomolecule. So basically biomolecules like proteins, enzymes, antibodies, that will be the sample. So suppose I have mixture of many proteins along with me. So those many proteins I will pass through the stationary phase. Now stationary phase is nothing but the inert particle onto which different ligands are attached. So this ligand will have specific affinity in the form of lock and key attachment with any one of the proteins. So that protein which is getting attached onto the ligand, that protein will lag behind and other proteins of the mixture they will flow down the column. Okay, this is the basic principle of affinity chromatography. Now, whatever uh, notes have been attached here in this video, those notes will give you enough idea to understand what are the different inert particles used as stationary phase, which are the ligands attached, can be attached on these inert particles now in between the stationary phase that is the inert particle and the ligand the attachment which is there that attachment is the hydrocarbon attachment the attachment between ligand and the inert particle is the hydrocarbon chain its length hydrocarbon chain length can be varied okay because see different proteins are going to attach onto this ligand right and these proteins enzymes which are our samples they have big structures so those bigger molecules should get accommodated on the uh, surface of the stationary phase so to avoid that steric hindrance the chain length that is a linker or the spacer which i have written here in the notes so that chain length can vary now the bound protein which had the affinity for the ligand and which uh, lagged behind okay that means it got separated no but now it is on the stationary phase attached to the stationary phase right so i have to elute it out so to elute that particular protein out of the column i have to make changes in the mobile phase so i may change the ph of mobile phase or the ionic strength of mobile phase can be changed or uh, the concentration of the competing ligand can be added in the mobile phase so that the protein which was separated which was lagging behind now can be eluted out so that is the basic principle of the chromatography you can just uh, have a look here that regeneration of stationary phase is required no for this reason and this is the method which is given here for regeneration of the stationary phase so just go through the notes it's a very simple topic you will be able to remember uh, the points based on the stationary phase and the sample which is to be analyzed by this particular method Various applications and examples are also provided in this particular video. I hope this presentation in the form of notes which have been given here will be very useful for you to prepare for your exam as far as affinity chromatography is concerned. Since the topic is very simple, I have given it in this form and I am also running out of time nowadays. Uh, so the detailed explanation slide to slide is not there.